Today's video is on linear homogeneous recurrence relation with constant quotients and this is related to the discrete mathematics and see here according to the definition a recurrence relation of the form a n is equal to c1 a n minus 1 plus c2 a n minus 2 plus and so on c k a n minus k where c1 c2 c3 and so on c k are the real numbers and c k not equal to 0 is called a linear homogeneous recurrence relation of degree k with constant coefficients. See here, there are three points uh, to be noted. The recurrence relation is given is linear since a i has a power 1 and no terms of the type a i a j occur. And next one, how to find the degree of this? So, the degree is the difference between the greatest and the lowest subscript of the number of the sequence occurring in the recurrence relation. So, the degree is nothing but the difference between the greatest and the lowest subscript. And the next one, the quotients of all the terms of the sequence are all constants and they are not the functions of n. So, these are all the points which you have to keep in mind. And the next question here is, so here we have to... Determine whether the following recurrence relations are linear homogeneous recurrence relations with constant quotients and also find the degree. The first example here is a n is equal to 2 n a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2. See here the quotients of the terms of the sequence are all constants and they are not the functions of n. And here if you observe, so there is n. So the uh, the quotients of the quotients of the terms of the sequence are all should be constant and they should they should not be a function of n. So this is not so this is not a linear recurrence relation. And how to find the degree of this? So the degree is nothing but the difference between the greatest subscript and the lowest subscript. In this, the greatest subscript is n and the lowest subscript is n minus two. So if I make a difference, then the degree of this then the degree of this is nothing but 2. And the second example here is a n is equal to a n minus 1 plus a n minus 4. So, we have to determine whether the following recurrence relations are linear. So, so this is a linear homogeneous recurrence relation as all the coefficients of the terms are constants and here the degree is nothing but the difference between the greatest and the least subscript here n minus n minus 4 here the degree is equal to 4 and the next example here is a n is equal to a n minus 1 plus 2 and see here this is not so this is not a linear homogeneous recurrence relation since there is a single constant here so how to find the degree so the degree is nothing but the difference between the greatest and the lowest subscript here. So, the greatest subscript is n whereas the lowest subscript is n minus 1. Therefore, the degree here is 1. And the next coming to the next example, a n is equal to a n minus 2. So, this is a linear. So, this is a linear homogeneous recurrence relation with constant coefficient. And how to find the degree? So, this is the difference between the greatest subscript and the least subscript. That is n minus n minus 2. The degree is equal to 2. And next coming to the second example. A n is equal to a n minus 1 plus 2. Here, this is not a linear homogeneous recurrence relation as the quotient of uh, the terms of the sequence are all constants and they are not the functions of n. See here, this is not a linear homogeneous reference relation and how to find the degree. So, the degree is nothing but the difference between the greatest and the least subscript here. That is n minus n minus 1. Therefore, the degree is equal to 1. And coming to the next example here, bn is equal to n into b n minus 1. So, this is not a linear homogeneous recurrence relation with constant quotients. Since the quotients of the terms of the sequence are all constants, since the quotients of the term should be a constant and this is not a function of n. So, they are not the functions of n. Therefore, this is not a linear homogeneous recurrence relation with constant quotients. And therefore, how to find the degree? So, the degree is nothing but the difference between the greatest and the least subscript. Here, n minus n minus 1. So, this will be n minus n plus 1. So, the degree is equal to 1. So, these are all the examples which we have to determine whether the following recurrence relations are linear homogeneous recurrence relations and also we have to find the degree for this. So, here 
the quotients of all the terms are all the constants and they are not the functions of n. So this is not a recurrence relation since the quotient of the term here is the function of n. And here if you observe, so this is a linear homogeneous recurrence relation and here this is not a linear homogeneous re recurrence relation as there is a constant here and again so this is a linear homogeneous recurrence relation with constant quotient and here this is not a linear quotient so this is not a linear homogeneous recurrence relation with constant quotients and here this is also not a linear homogeneous recurrence relation with constant quotient as the quotient of the term is a function in of n therefore so this is how we have to identify whether this is a linear homogeneous recurrence relation of constant quotient or not and thank you so much and hope you all got a clear vivid idea on this and hopefully these videos will be very helpful and have a look at my next video too upcoming video will be very very important for your preparation thank you so much